Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 34 from the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. So um, this one is going to go over four of, which is what you the video you just watched. Um, but we can still just do four of JS, and we can get in here and we can copy this. And so I'm hoping you guys are starting to see a pattern with some of this stuff. Um, you know, we have the array name, we have the array, and then we're kind of looping over it. So um, it wants us to use a for of. They've given us an array of numbers, and they want us to use for each, and they want us to print out the square of each value. So if you're not familiar with, with what the square of something is, is that just means timesing it by itself. So three squared is three times three, that will be nine. 4 squared is 4 times 4, that will be 16, so on and so forth. And um, this is another another thing as you're going through these exercises, make sure to go all the way down and look for any notes. So I see so many people asking questions about this one, and somebody will come in and ask a question, and it will be a couple hours before somebody gets back to them just because there's not always somebody on the server. Um, when all they really had to do was just read the notes because this is the most likely way you'll see people doing um, like squaring or tripling. And the reason for that is that's the exponentiation. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, yeah, ex exponent, ex exponentiation, Exponen exponentiation. And so the way this works is you're saying, take the thing on the left and times it by itself this many times. So what this is saying is take three times three times three times three times three. So you're timesing it by itself four different times and so on and so forth. But the testing suite doesn't support that. Now, luckily for us, all we're doing is squaring it. So, um, this should be pretty easy. Squaring is just timesing it by itself one time. And we can easily do that on our own. So obviously array one is not the array we're looping over, it's numbers. We can still keep element here. And then we're just timesing element by itself. So I think this should give us, because it'll be, element will be each item. So that'll be one. So one times one is one. Then it'll be go to 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, so on, so on, so on. And perfect, you'll see that that did satisfy the test. Now, one thing you might be asking is, well, why do we have this when you just taught me about for loops? Like, why do I have so many ways to do that? So the huge benefit to something like this for of or for each, or um, you'll get into like dot map, uh, dot filter, dot reduce, stuff like that, is you almost can't have one-off errors because this for of is handling it for you. So if you were if you have an array and you know for sure that you want to go, you want to loop over every single element, most of the time you will use a for of, you will use a for each, and you'll see me using for each all the time in my sports betting app that I'm building, and I'll have those videos being uploaded shortly. Um, but it's just so nice because I no longer have to worry about is I less than something or less than or equal to, or how, how much do I add by or subtract by? This is strictly saying, hey, just loop over till you run out of things in that array. And so it's handling that one off for you. Now, one thing I do wanna bring up is a traditional for loop like this is the fastest way to loop over something. But you won't see any noticeable difference until you get into the um, hundreds of thousands of data points. That's when you'll start to see some of the other ones like for each um, or map start to slow down a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw I'll see if I can find a link. There was a link where somebody put this in JS perf, which is just uh, a way for you to run code against other code and see which one's faster. And uh, like I said, it was it was something like 100,000 100, plus data points before you started to see something slow down. So 
um, you likely will not have to worry about that. Um, but I did just want to bring that up in case something, maybe in an interview, somebody's like, hey, what's the fastest way to loop over something? Well, now you'll know. So I did just want to share that. So um, again, this one was pretty basic, um, pretty easy. The four of is really nice because again, you don't have to concern yourself with when to, where to start, when to stop, like it just does it for you. And that's really, really convenient as a programmer. So hope you guys learned something today. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next exercise.